find the integral of cos u squared sin u squared du. Well, the first thing I should try and do is rewrite it. And there's plenty of trig identities that involve cos squared and sin squared. So if I write them down, maybe I'll be able to tell what to do. Trig identities. So obviously there's cos x squared plus sin x squared equals 1. Uh, and the double angle formula for cos has a cos squared and a sine squared. So cos 2x is equal to cos x squared minus sine x squared. Oh, and there's this trick where I can replace the cos squared with the 1 minus sine squared from the one above. So I can get 1 minus 2 sine x squared or 2 cos x squared minus 1. I suppose while I'm at it I should probably write down the trig identity for the double angle formula for sine. Sine 2x would be 2 sine x cos x. Actually that one doesn't look like a bad place to start because I do have a cos and a sine multiplied together. They're squared but it would be a start. Okay, so let's start rewriting the integral. So rewrite the expression. Okay, so let's see, we've got a sine u cos u on our original integral. So we know that sine u cos u, 2 sine u cos u would be equal to sine 2 u. But we've only got sine u cos u, so sine u cos u would be a half of sine 2 u. And we've got that squared, so sine u cos u squared would be a quarter of sine 2u squared. Okay, now we've got a sine squared, so this trig identity's got a sine squared in it and I can convert it to a cos. So we're going to replace our x with 2u and so we'll get 2 times 2u and that'll be 4u. So cos of 4u is cos of 2 times 2u. So that will be 1 minus 2 sine 2u squared. Um, and we want to rearrange that. So, so we'll move this over to the other side. So 2 sine 2u squared. And we'll move the cos 4u over to the other side. Cos 4u. And then we'll divide by the 2, sine 2u squared is a half minus a half of cos 4u. And then we want a quarter of sine 2u squared, so a quarter of sine 2u squared would be a quarter of that, which is an eighth, and a quarter of that, which is cos 4u. So finally we've got that sine u squared cos u squared is in fact an eighth minus an eighth of cos 4u. And I think that deserves a therefore. Alright, so now we can do our integral. So the integral of cos u squared sine u squared du is actually the integral of an eighth minus an eighth of cos 4u du. Now we can do that. The integral of an eighth, that's just a number, so we'll get one eighth of u. That eighth is multiplied on, so it'll stay there. The integral of cos is sine, but it's a constant multiple times u, so I can divide by that constant and then because it's an indefinite integral, I'll add a plus c. So we've got an eighth of u minus 8 times 4 is 32. 1 over 32 
sine 4u plus c.